Welcome back to Sanru, your school. Today is going to be a little different. I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. You can see that it's in black and white. I try to stay very light and very. happy when I make these videos. Uh, nobody wants to see anybody who's upset making a video. Planes. Um, but on a serious note, this past week I got two phone calls. And two friends I know them for years called me up individually and says I had a problem today I was on the subway all I will say is it was actually a gentleman friend and a female friend um, a gentleman said to me and I had a problem on the subway I says what happened and he went into the story and he basically told me that someone you know originally just hey you got a dollar to spare and uh, his reply was sure went to give him a dollar and he says alright now give me your wallet and it was a crowded platform there was no weapons uh, involved the guy uh, uh, did, said nothing to him except give me your wallet at this point instead of my friend walking away he stood there and went stuck his chest out. I'm going to kick your ass. He's telling me this. And I said, why did you do that? And he goes, well, he was trying to intimidate me. He looked at you and said, give me a wallet. You should have laughed at him, looked at him, watched what was going on around you, walked away, found a police officer, just walk away. Stuck his chest out, stood his ground. The guy took a swing at him and he got hit in the face. He says, oh, once you hit me in the face, that's when I really got angry. I got mad. Okay, I said, what did you do? He said, oh, I started swinging on him. You know, I swung on him. And he's swinging wild like this. I says, well, that explains why your hand is all bandaged up. I says, that's a cast on your hand. He says, oh, yeah, well, when I hit him, you know, um, I, I, I hit him with this part of my hand, you know, by my pinky, and I broke these two fingers, and, you know, I got to wear this cast now. You know, but, but I hit him hard. I says, what happened? Well, I got hit in the face, I got a black eye, you know, but, but I got the best of them. Let's move ahead to the next story. Young lady calls me, I know, many years. She was getting into a car. Some guy kept trying to talk to her as she was walking towards a car. He, I guess, got the hint, and she's, you know, is her mind, and she started getting into her car. She was able to get by her car and ready to put her keys in the car, and the guy came up from behind her. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? Come on, why don't you take me for a ride? Bye, bye, bye. I says, well, what'd you do? She says, I turned around, and I yelled at him. Hey, you, get away from me. Okay. Then what'd you do? I stood there, and, and, and I smacked at him. I said, you just started swinging wild at this guy. Yeah. Okay, and that explains why you're walking with a cane right now. What happened? Oh, well, he grabbed me and threw me on the floor. I said, wow. Then what? He says, well, when he threw me on the floor, he says, yo, bitch, all I wanted to do was just get your number. Okay, Let, let's go back a step. Um, I said to her, you just started swinging. 
She goes, yeah. I says, and then what? She says, um, well, I tried like smacking him in the face and she's doing this. She goes, you know, I says, okay. But I yelled at him. I kept yelling at him. Now, just quick short history on both these people. I'm not going to mention their names, where they live, anything else about them. There's an expression, telephone tough guy. Um, they're both basically like that. They come off like who they are. Gentleman's a little bit taller. The woman's just got a big mouth. And they thought that that was going to save them in these situations. It's going to be a long video. I'm sorry. If you're sticking with me, trust me. There's a reason for all this. They both are very loud, obnoxious people. They thought that they could handle themselves because they got a big mouth and some size. That doesn't work. It does not work. They call me because all of a sudden they're like, oh, you know, maybe I should like, uh, I don't know. You think I should take a self-defense class? I said, how long you two know me? Years? What do I do for a living? So the point of this video, they have nothing to back anything up. Nothing. And here's a sad fact for all of you out there just <laughs> listening to this. Not all. 99% of you. You can't back up your words. Sorry. You're not trained. Uneducated. And I'm not talking about going to school. Junior high school, uh, high school, college, getting into, I'm not talking about that kind of, I'm talking about the street. You think this and this uh, is going to work. It does not work. It means nothing. People, please, you don't want to train with me, I don't care. Find another school. Find some place where you could learn how to defend yourselves and learn how to if you have to, to throw a punch, stop watching the UFC. And there's going to be haters all over the place. Oh, look at those. They're badasses. Look at them. They fight. It's a ring. That's not the real world. I get very adamant about this. I've had people come to me that want to be AMA fighters, uh, MMA fighters, want to be, uh, or that are MMA fighters. And they want me to train them. No, what I teach is not a joke. What you need to learn is not to stand there It doesn't work. Why am I so upset? Because I worry about you people out there. I'm concerned. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. Use your heads. Please. Please. I got I, two phone calls in one week. Come on. You need some kind of formalized training. Please, you know, going into this, going to these beautiful dojos. I've trained in some beautiful dojos. Just Google them. They're out there. They're so pristine. The floors are all clean and there's trophies and, and they've got all these, everyone, their uniforms and they're so nice and they're pretty looking and they're all white uniforms. And... That's not a place to learn. I'm sorry. To learn how to defend yourself on the street. My students train. Wayne. My students train in their street clothes. Whatever you wear to work, or you, whatever you just wear, period, this is what you have to learn how to defend yourself in. 
whatever your style of clothing is. I had students, I wear a suit every day. Six days a week, go to work. I'm on the subway, I wear a suit. I can't kick high. Why do you need to? Wear a suit, come to class, I will teach you how to defend yourself wearing a suit. Male or female, doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm upset. Your attitude is not going to get you out of a situation. Your mouth, unless you're using verbal jujitsu, where, hey, you know something, my end, listen, all I have is this dollar. I'm sorry, I don't have, I don't even carry a wallet, man. Listen, you have a great day. Walk away. Guys paying you a compliment on the street. Thank you. Have a nice day. But getting into a verbal altercation with someone. I'm not saying it's not warranted for you to defend yourself. The female in the situation. She felt scared. She was walking to her car. She was alone. Um, and this guy wouldn't leave her alone. He was just hitting on her. But when push came to shove, she couldn't do anything anyway. And she got thrown onto the floor. She got her knee hurt. Great. Not interested. Thank you very much. My husband's meeting me. Do you want to talk to him? It's called verbal jujitsu. Think. Grab your phone. Oh, yeah, listen. Wait a minute. Where, where are you? Oh, hey, what's up? And you're waving. This person's walking towards you, and you all of a sudden turn around and start make believe you're talking on the phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, honey. Yeah, I'm right here. All right. You want me to meet you in that store? Okay. Walk into a store. Walk, walk, over, walk over to a, a house on the street. Ring the bell. So what? Somebody's going to come to the door. This person who's following you is going to go like, wait a second. This ain't, this ain't, you know, I can't follow this person. They know somebody that lives here. Their husband's on their way. Something. But again, you're not trained. One more last thing onto the mail. Standing there and sticking your chest out. I took care of him. You took care of him, all right. You got a broken hand. You got a, your eye is twice the size. Because you thought you knew how to handle yourself. I'm sorry, and I'll say it again, one last time. You people out there do not know how to, and I'll use everyone's terms, how to fight. You don't know how to. You don't have to fight. Walk away. Or learn how to defend yourselves. Intelligently. Like I said in the beginning of the video, why I'm upset. Here we are at the end of another video. Outside, I love it outside. I love coming to the park. Feels good. Welcome back to Sun Rue, your school. If you got any questions, you got any comments, please leave them. Please like and share, subscribe. Um, this is going to be on my Instagram as well as my YouTube channel. Let me help you. I'm a keyboard away. Have a great day. And again, welcome to Sun Rue, your school.